Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Plus Model. This is a 135 scale resin kit which copies stable engine and you can see the finished kit on the box art here. So now we are going to check it closer. It is a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same kit if you order it from Plus Model. Dot CZ. As you can see it's 505 the serial number of this kit and the box size is quite typical you can see here a comparison with my hand we have nice box art of the finished kit in the painted state let's say here on the side you have some information about this model about the manufacturer just a black side from the other from the opposite and here we have also information about the manufacturer. So let's open it and take a closer look at what is hidden inside. So as you can see, uh, packaging is quite tight, I would say, so you shouldn't be worried about any possible problems. Parts won't fly around the box and that means they should stay intact. This is was uh, assembly manual, we will check it a bit later. Now we would check the resin parts. As you can see, they're wrapped into this uh, bubble wrap which should get and give you some extra protection and it's really necessary for resin parts. All resin parts are packed into this uh, sealed plastic bag, so just give me a second. I'll have to use the scissors in order to cut away the sealed part and take a closer look at all those parts. So just give me a second. Okay, so first of all we have uh, really huge amount of parts and I would like to go one by one and I would like to start with those let's say main wheels I will refocus the camera because otherwise it will be difficult to see these parts so here you can see them I can show this one from the front side now you can see one from the front side and one from the rear obviously you have to delete all this resin flash around the parts but it is typical for plus model and it should preserve parts intact, so it's basically an advantage to have such a uh, thing on your resin parts, otherwise it will be tricky to get them intact after some rough shipment. Then here we have set of the small parts. As you can see, all these various elements will have to be carefully separated and installed into the right spot. But molding quality seems to be great, I don't see any issues with this. Here you can see them from the top, here you can see them from the other side. Okay, let's move on. I see that we have another pair of wheels. Again, I will show front and rear side of this. So just give me a second. Now you should be able to see them. Again, it will require some cleaning because otherwise you won't be able to have the round wheels, obviously. And note that here we have this throughout um, parts or segments in these wheels, so do not forget to clean them as well. Maybe you will have to use a sharp knife, maybe you will have to use something else, maybe the sending file, it will be up to you how you work with this. Then here we have another small wheel, this one is given in a single piece, at least I don't see the second one, so and here it is from the other side. Okay, then we have big block which is actually placed on the card and the funny thing about it is that it is molded or detailed from all sides and it is empty inside as you can see here so basically you get everything glued you won't have to deal with separate panels and that's a really cool feature about resin ports because you don't have to attach various um, separately molded panels in order to get a nice result. Then here we have the, just give me a moment to focus the camera. Here, as far as I can guess, we have a gearbox. As you can see again, it comes as a single piece part. You just have to attach all minor elements into the special installation slots, but I think it won't be difficult. And that's actually part number one. Okay, next we have the fuel tank, here it is. Again, a single piece part, even the fuel cap is promoted. And those special brackets which hold it in place are also present, so you won't have um, to deal with them. Another small block, this one as far as I can guess copies the tools box, here it is. 
it is modded as a one piece port but i think the lock will be copied with p port and will be installed separately then we have here the first port for the suspension frame so here it is again you will have to clean all the resin flesh because otherwise it will be difficult to get it into the place another suspension port of course wheels will be installed on those pins so it should be a relatively easy task just be sure to check the alignment of those wheels because you might get uh, some special surprises here we have the handle just give me a second to focus the camera now we should be able to see it a really tiny part next we have another part I'm not sure where this one will be used but as you can see it is detailed from both sides okay next we have this tube and again we will have to check the assembly manual because I'm not sure where it will be used because it is empty inside so it's better to look in the manual obviously then we have those um, small thin parts again we have a bits of resin flesh inside so be careful while separating all this stuff and of course do not forget that these are thin parts which are easy to break and you will have to be careful by the way here is the second small wheel so actually we get the pair of those wheels next we have this long bar which is actually used for towing this engine here you can see it from the other side it's part 26 Next we have the mainframe bars which are molded together, these are parts 15, uh, actually 5 and 6, as you can see they are empty inside and here you can see them from the other side. And two last parts, uh, those will be used for the mainframe on the engine, so here you can see them. Okay, so here you saw all the resin ports. Then we have the small decal sheet which is packed into the separate plastic bag. Let's refocus the camera, now we should be able to see it. This Slavia sign will be uh, installed onto the box. And the same can be said about all those green decals. Obviously you can, it, some others would rather copy those green decals with their own hands, but uh, as you can see we have it included here you can also see the metal wire this wall will be used obviously to copy the wiring on the model and one more bonus is this unpainted p fret where we have all minor elements for fine detailing of this build so just give me a second here it is let's focus the camera now we should be able to see it Really nice quality note, this special sign, Suave Diesel. And these parts are really small, you can see their uh, size relative to my fingertips. So again, be sure to have the sharp tweezers, because otherwise it will be really tricky to get them in the right spot. Then we have small assembly manual. This one is printed in black and white. As you can see, there is no short history note on the first page. Straight away we have some instructions and safety devices. We also have the... Um, website of the official manufacturer where you can get all the kits from Plus Model. And they also make some modeling tools. And then we have here assembly process which starts with this suspension part. Actually, I guess this is a front suspension. Then we continue with this box and radiators attachment. Now this will be assembled out of P parts as you remember. And also here we install the engine. We use wiring in several places, be sure to copy it. And then on the last page we have installation of all those uh, thin parts which we saw molded out of resin. By the way, note that lock is copied with help of P parts. So it will be quite funny tasks to do, but it will bring some finesse to the um, final result which you will get after you finish this model. So quite an interesting kit, I would say there is no analog in the plastic for sure, but it will require some experience, it's definitely not for beginners due to small parts, P parts, and also some use of the metal wires, but once you get all those in place you will get a really nice result, 
and I think price is also quite reasonable. So if you would like to get it, just go to the Plus Model website and order it. Maybe also with some figurine from the same manufacturer. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.